the Polytune 3 Noir, TC Electronics' latest polyphonic tuner. We're going to find out how good of a tuner it really is. What is up, everyone? Man Bun Melod here. If you like to keep your guitar in tune, make sure to like and subscribe. It might surprise you, but this is not my first tuner, nor is it my first Polytune. I have the Polytune 2 Blackout and the Polytune 2 Mini. Not only am I going to go through the ins and outs of the Polytune 3 Noir, but I'll be comparing it to both Polytune 2 pedals as well. There are three pedals in the Polytune 3 series. The regular Polytune 3, the Polytune 3 Mini, and the Polytune 3 Noir. These are essentially the same pedal, like the 2 Blackout and 2 Mini, just different sizes and or color schemes. As I go through this review, I may refer to this pedal as the Polytune 3 Noir or just the Polytune 3, but you get it. Same goes for the two. Obviously, the Polytune 3 Noir is a mini format pedal measuring 3.7 inches tall by 1.7 inches wide by 1.2 inches deep. It will take up practically no space on your pedal board. It is a matte black finish, which I prefer over the standard white finish. On the right side of the pedal, there's a guitar input, power input, and tuning mode button. On the top is the auto dimming LED display and foot switch. And on the left, the guitar output and two configuration switches, which are new to the Polytune 3 series. You can use the tuning mode button to switch between strobe and chromatic tuning modes by holding the button in. By quickly pressing the tuning mode button, you can set the polyphonic tuning from E standard down to B standard or multiple capo positions. If you hold down the switch, it will change between standard and drop D for polyphonic tuning. Of course, in D standard, it would be drop C, but you get it. If you're not aware of polyphonic tuning, you can strum every string on your guitar and the pedal will show the tuning for each string. It's not as accurate as strobe or chromatic modes, but can definitely be useful in certain situations, but we'll look into that more later on. Chromatic and strobe modes are like any other tuner with the same modes. Chromatic will have a needle showing the tuning status. If it's to the left, the string is flat. To the right, the string is sharp. In strobe mode, you'll have a moving string of LEDs. If they are moving to the left, the string is flat, and to the right, the string is sharp. The faster the LEDs are moving, the more out of tune they are. Once they are still, they are in tune. I prefer the strobe mode not only for the accuracy, more on that later, but I think it's faster to visually register. You'll have a faster response from the strobe as the LEDs slow down rather than using the needle as reference. I don't understand why they call it chromatic mode because you can tune any note in strobe mode, so that makes it chromatic too. Why not call it needle mode? One new feature in this pedal is the optional buffered bypass. This is cool for two reasons. First, which is obvious, you can choose between buffered or true bypass. All I have to do is toggle the first switch. Off for true bypass and on for buffered. The Polytune 2 pedals are only true bypass. Secondly, you can set the display to always on. Just set the second switch to on. The only caveat is you have to use the buffered bypass. The always on display does not work with the true bypass. With the always on display, you'll be able to see if your strings are in tune while you play. It works great while you're playing single notes and sometimes chords. You can then step on the foot switch to mute your signal in tune. The only downside I see with the always on display is there's no way to know if the signal is muted without playing and hearing if the signal is passing through. Another bonus of the always on display is the tuner will be on whenever you power up the pedal. This is great if you have the tuner set up on another output, like a dedicated tuner output, which is what I use on my Boss ES8. Now I don't have to step on the pedal every time I power up my pedal board. On to the display. Like its predecessors, it has 109 LEDs. A new feature on the 3 is it is auto dimming. Using the pedal alone, it's hard to see the auto dimming happen, but there are no scenarios where I couldn't read the pedal either in complete dark or with a bright light pointed directly at it. Putting it next to the 2 mini, the difference in displays is apparent. The 2 Mini always appears very bright, whereas the 3 Noir is more pleasant to look at, in my opinion. When it's dark, you can tell how the 3 Noir is more subdued. Using the tuner side by side, I didn't experience any differences in tuner response time. I do like the matte black finish and muted display of the Polytune 3 Noir over the white gloss and brighter finish of the Polytune 2 Mini. Moving on to accuracy of these pedals. The Polytune 3 Noir boasts a 200 cent accuracy in strobe mode, 5 tenths accuracy in chromatic mode, and 1 cent accuracy in polyphonic mode. Both the Polytune 2 tuners have the same accuracies in chromatic and polyphonic modes, but only a 1 tenth cent accuracy in strobe mode. With having 100 cents between one note to the next half step away, like an E to an F, 2 hundredths of a cent is ridiculously accurate, even 1 tenth of a cent is stupid accurate. Of course, I couldn't just take their word for it. I output tones from my computer using Reaper and adjusted the tuning to see where the pedals would still be in tune. Now this test might not be totally perfect, but I think it does shed some light on the accuracy of these pedals. In strobe mode where the Polytune 3 claims an accuracy of 2 hundredths of a cent, it was in that range of plus 2 hundredths cents. The Polytune 2 claims 1 tenth accuracy in strobe mode and I measured well within that. Plus 2 hundredths to plus 6 hundredths for the 2 blackout and plus 4 hundredths 
2 plus 7 hunters for the 2 Mini. Yes, the Polytune 3 is slightly more accurate than either of the Polytune 2s, but 200 cent is such a minuscule amount, even 1 tenth is ridiculously small. To show the difference, I'll play two notes, 1 tenth of a cent apart. Here's the first. And here's the second. Unless you have superhuman hearing, you probably can't tell the difference. If you want to know which one is sharper, I'll tell you later in the video. On to the accuracy and chromatic mode. TC Electronics advertises 5 tenths for all three of these Polytune tuners. However, in my testing, that was not quite the case. For all three, I measured roughly plus 4 to minus 3 cents, or a little bit within that range. That is considerably larger than the half cent difference they claim. This is why you should use the strobe tuning mode. Lastly, we have polyphonic mode. They claim 1 cent accuracy, but I measured 5 or 6 for all three units. Again, not even close. You shouldn't be using the polyphonic mode for accurate tuning anyway, just for some quick tuning or to easily find an out of tune string. Hey man, you think it's a good time to test out the pedal? <sighs> yeah, I guess so. Sweet. By the way, you know real men don't wear buns, right? Gotta leave that to the snowflakes. <laughs> Let's start with the chromatic and strobe modes. You can see DRock has the Polytune 3 set to strobe mode and 2 mini in chromatic mode. Here we can see the differences in the two modes. Tuning a string in either mode is easy. It detects the pitch quickly and doesn't have a problem switching between strings. If he uses a chromatic tuner to tune a string, you can see he's still a little flat according to the strobe tuner. With some small adjustments, he can get the string closer to in tune. However, I doubt you'd be able to get it perfectly in tune, but slightly closer than with chromatic. You could be fine using chromatic mode, especially in a live scenario where perfect accuracy isn't all that important. However, like I said earlier, I prefer the visual feedback in strobe mode. Now let's talk about polyphonic mode. DRS guitar is tuned to D standard and he has already set up the tuner to D. Strumming the open strings, they should all be in tune. I should point out the leftmost gauge is the lowest string and the rightmost is the highest string. Now, say he's playing live and plays a chord that doesn't sound quite right, but he's not sure what string is out of tune. Of course, he'll want to mute the output first, then strum all the strings, quickly finding out what string is out of tune. Here we can see it's the fifth string, he can either tune it in polyphonic mode, which is less accurate, or mute all the strings and play the string alone to tune it in either strobe or chromatic mode. Same applies if there are multiple strings out of tune. Earlier, DRock did a tuning test in polyphonic, chromatic, and strobe modes. Unexpectedly, they all took about the same time. I thought polyphonic mode would be the fastest and strobe the slowest, but looks like I was wrong. My advice would be to use polyphonic mode to find strings that are out of tune, use strobe to tune them, and do a final check in polyphonic when you're done. Hey man, hate to cut short, but I got a show to catch. Dude, they know it's a green screen. Of course, the big question, should you get this tuner? If you're upgrading from a different tuner or need a smaller format tuner, this is definitely a buy. If you already have a Polytune 2 Mini, it's probably not worth the upgrade unless you really want that always on mode or buffer. The tighter accuracy in strobe mode probably isn't worth it alone. Well, there you go, the Polytune 3 Noir. Hopefully this video helped you out. Either way, hit that thumbs up button, really helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more of my videos on gear reviews, tips, and techniques, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Oh, by the way, the first tone was sharper. But hey, until next time, rock on.